Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Casual706 here, back with another Transformers unboxing slash review. Today I'm covering Transformers, Power of the Primes, Autobot, Dinobot, Slug. So as we take a look at the package in here, we have Slug in his Triceratops mode, breathing fire at somebody. We got the toy right there, got his uh, accessories, his chest shield, blaster, and his gun here. Down here it has age 8 plus in three different languages, Transformers going up the right side, and the Transformers Generations logo. Right here we have a picture of the toy in the Triceratops mode right there. All right, now around to the back of the package. We have him again in his robot mode here. We have him in his Triceratops mode. It says it's gonna take about 12 steps to change him from his robot to Triceratops and vice versa. Over here, they're showing the Power Masters, which are basically the same thing as the Titan Masters. Uh, they just hook onto the chest shield here, uh, powering up the character. Right here, they show Slug with Micronus attached to his chest plate there. And in the top left hand corner we have a real quick bio. The bio reads, how will the hot headed Dinobot warrior wield the power of the primes? Alright, so since we took a look at the packaging, we're going to go ahead and open this up and get to the good part. Alright, so out of the packaging we get a couple of familiar things. First of all we get these art cards. They're sticking with the tradition of these little collectible cards that they've been doing since the Combiner Wars figures. Uh, actually they might have been doing it on Generations, I can't remember. Now the card has really sick artwork, a slug in his Triceratops mode, breathing fire at somebody there. It's got Power of the Primes going up the side. Now I actually got an orange card. There are variations of these cards. Uh, there's 12 different variants for each figure. I've been seeing on some of the other guys' reviews on YouTube, they have different color cards that are coming with their figures. So you can get one of 12 different cards when you purchase these guys. Now around to the back here, uh, it shows Nexus Slug. That's going to be one of the Power Masters that can combine with him, I guess. Uh, these toys don't actually come packaged with any of the Power Master figures. Those are going to be packaged separately. The Nexus Slug card says combines with others to do maximum damage. Now we're also going to get dual-sided instructions. Instructions are showing how to change him from his Triceratops to robot mode and vice versa. It's also going to show how to change him into his limb modes for whichever combiner you choose to combine him with. Here is one side of those instructions. If you guys like instructions, pause the video because I'm just fanning them by real quick. Titan Master, or there's a little Power Master gimmick going on to the chest shield thing there. This other side here, they're going to show how to turn him into the limb modes again for the uh, combiner that you choose to put him with. Right there, they're showing Volcanicus. Showing how to change him into his arm and leg modes. Again, I'm kind of just fanning these by fast, so if you like instructions, you're gonna have to hit pause on the video. That's it for the instructions. Now looking at the actual figure and weapons, I guess we'll start with the weapons first. You get this little uh, blaster here. His blaster, of course, is displayable in his hand, just like that. And then, of course, he's also going to have these little 5mm ports on the side here. So if you wanted to, you could have him side wheel the gun on the side of his arm, kind of like Megatron. They're also coming packaged with these things here. Now, these are actually hands and power master combiner thingamadoodle bobbles. Now, that's displayable on the chest here. Now, these things, if you dig your fingernail in, you can pull it out. It's just a little placeholder. Uh, like I say, we're not actually getting any Power Master figures with these guys. Of course, once you get a Power Master, you'll be able to put the Power Master in there. And uh, I guess, of course, you could use a Titan Master if you wanted to, and you could have a face on the, the front of his chest plate there. Now, it has a little 5 millimeter peg on the back of it, so it is also displayable as a blaster, albeit a crazy-looking blaster. You could display it in his hand like that. And then again, since you've got that little side port on his arm, you could display it on the side of his arm like that. That's your options there for the weapons in robot mode. This little hand thing, the way they work, these are thumbs here. You'd have to spin them around to face the front. And then you got a couple little tabs right here inside that you can pull that the little fingertips out. And then you just fold these over and the little five millimeter peg you pull out like that. That's actually going to become a hand for whatever combiner you choose to make. Now, a little weird, you got two thumbs with these guys. I, I actually prefer the Combiner Wars hands since they only had one thumb. I think they were a little more innovative with that. 
looks a little bit awkward. Putting the weapons off to the side real quick, taking a look at the actual figure himself. Now they did a pretty good job with uh, updating him. I like the way he looks, his joints are uh, nice and stiff here. But I guess if I had any quest or any complaint about these things, would be, uh, it's kind of like a matte gray, and then this is like a matte gold down here. It would have been really cool if these were like super high chrome, kind of like the original Dinobots were. But instead, you kind of get this matte gray thing going on. Now going through his range of articulation here, he's got a couple of ball joints up at the shoulders, so you're going to be able to get some high lifts there. And of course, you'll be able to rotate the arm all the way around. Now right about here at the bicep section, you got a little swivel point, so you're going to be able to rotate that around. And then you got a nice stiff ratchet joint that's going to double as the elbow there so that's how you do that now at the head of course since you got all this dino stuff going on you're not going to be able to turn that head around at all he's going to be stuck with a straightforward looking pose now, actually if you dig your fingernails in you can get a little bit to the right or the left here i didn't think this was going to have any movement at all but you can if you dig your fingernails in you can kind of get them to look off to the sides there now over at the other arm, same range of motion. You got that ball joint there, so you'll be able to rotate that around if you want to. You can get a real high shoulder joint. You can get it up real high there. And then of course, it's also gonna swing all the way around. Then at the bicep here, you got another little swivel point. You're gonna be able to rotate that around. And then you got that ratchet joint again at the elbow. Now down at the legs, you got some more ball joints. Now these ball joints actually kinda kind of hit up against the waist section here. So you're not going to be able to get no super high kicks out of them, but you can get a little bit there. Now there's also going to be a swivel joint just below that hip, hip socket there. So you're going to be able to rotate that around. And then of course, he's also going to have a knee joint. You're not going to get a full 90 out of that knee joint because of the, the dino tail back here, but it's pretty good range of motion. Now on this other leg, same thing, you got that ball joint. Uh, the hip is gonna keep you from going real high with the kick again. And then underneath it, you got another little swivel point. You're gonna be able to rotate that all the way around. And then of course, he's gonna have that knee joint. Again, with the dino kibble in the way, you're not gonna get a full 90 out of that knee, but you can get some pretty cool poses out of him nonetheless. So that covers his articulation. I'm gonna bring him up a little bit closer here so we can take a look and swing him around. See, that would have been really nice if that was high chrome right there. But this matte gray kind of keeps it, keeps it flat. Now to transform him, first thing that we would do is take these little hands. You're just going to fold them back into the forearm right here. You're going to do the same thing on this other side. Fold it right into the forearm. I'm going to go ahead and bring them down here to the front of the dinosaur. Then this little thing here is actually going to be his mouth. We're going to go ahead and close that up like that. We're going to swing these dino legs down forward like that. You're going to do the same thing on this other side over here. We're going to swing it down, get it into place. Then these little tail sections, they're going to flip up and out like that. This other one is going to do the same thing. You're going to flip it up and you're going to come over with it. Now the legs should collapse onto themselves here. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with that other leg. We're gonna bring it up there and these tabs right here on the back are gonna kind of click into there and should be able to squeeze those legs together back here to get it together. Now the tail is gonna swing around to the back here and that all should kind of tab into itself here. Then we're gonna take these dino legs and put them down here. And those should kind of be like that. All right, so that's what you're gonna get with the dino mode there. I wish these little horns were a little more flared up. They seem kind of low for a Triceratops. I don't know, they just kind of feel a little weird, like they should be flared up more. I think the G1 toy had them flared up a little bit more. Now, of course, you could open up the mouth if you wanted to. The mouth kind of looks weird. There's no teeth or anything on it. Kind of looks like a lizard mouth. But, uh, 
Now, worth mentioning, there are a couple little tabs right here. If you wanted to, you could take some Titan Masters or the Power Masters and set them up on top of these pegs so they could be riding him in his dinosaur mode. Now, methods for weapon display in this form. You can take this shield here and pull your little tab down and peg it into the back here. It's going to hug nicely onto the back of the Dinobot. So you can do that. The little hands even grip the back of the dinosaur like that. And if you wanted to, you got some port holes on the side of the leg, and then you still got those ports down at the front. This would look really crazy here, but if you wanted to, you could display the gun down there at the bottom, or you could put it on the hip back here. That looks like it makes a little more sense there. All right, so we're gonna get to the limb modes and conclude this video. All right, so to do the limb mode, super easy. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is move these legs down to the bottom here, take a little tail section, flip it up like that. Then this head is gonna detach and come forward like that. I'm gonna go ahead and move these arms out of the way too. I guess that'll be our, our way of doing it like that. Then you're gonna take this little combiner port, flip it out like that. So that's what you should end up with for a leg mode for uh, whatever just all you choose to combine him with. All right, now the arm mode, we're gonna go ahead and uh, move these legs out of the way real quick. Then we should be able to uh, fold the tail back off to the side kind of here. And we're just gonna extend everything like that. And we're gonna pull the tails up here. And my guess, we'd go ahead and swivel the uh, swivel the waist around. I think that would look better probably and it would give you more range of bend. So you do like that and then you take the little combiner port here, turn it to the side and that's going to be the limb mode. Now last touch, you take the little hand here, pull the five millimeter peg out and it's going to tab right into there. So that would be what he looks like as an arm for whatever just all you choose. So, that's going to conclude my unboxing slash review for Transformers, Power of the Primes, Autobot, Dinobot, Slug. If you guys liked the video, be sure to click the like button. Also, leave me a comment. It's always exciting to hear what you guys think about the videos or what you think about the toys that I'm reviewing. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any videos in the very near future. With all of that said, again, I appreciate the view, guys. Casual 706. Out.